So this boom boom stick I got in front of me, it is black. It is an AR-14. Wait, 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 wait. Take the AR, the AR-14s. Hold on, hold on. Hey, let's go. Hey, we all know a nine millimeter blows someone's lungs out. And saves a life. A nine millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body. So this is my new scary boom boom stick. It's an AR-15, and it's not chambered in 9mm or 223. It is chambered in 50 caliber. So this is definitely going to scare all the Democrats. So let's take a look at it. So pardon my voice. I'm still, I don't know, fighting off this freaking whatever. Anyway, so this is a Bear Creek Arsenal 12.7 by 42 it's a 50 Beowulf. This is not a 50 Beowulf in here. This is a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And I'm going to say the goods about the Bear Creek because I've been watching them for a while. And I've seen a lot of people. Some people said they're good. Some people said they're bad. Uh, I know my friend John, he said about, I wanted the right charging handle. That's why I got this one. He said about the charging handle would always fall out. Well, they put a, a bolt in there now. And I've seen other comments where certain things were not up to par. And they really seem to correct everything. The receiver itself is really beefy. The 50 Beowulf puts out about 52,000 PSI. The 500 Magnum is 60,000 PSI. The overall length is everything's the same. I'm not using I'm just using this demonstration here because... I, I thought it would take longer to get this upper in, and I, literally within a week it was here. So I was like, I called every gun store in the state of Pennsylvania, I think, close to every single one. Nobody had any Beowulf ammo. Actually, 95% of them, I think, actually, I heard them laughing on the phone. <laughs> it's so absurd. Nobody really uses it. That's kind of what I wanted. I wanted something different and unique, and I think that's what I like about Bear Creek Arsenal. They offer... All kinds of different. You get this in like seven and a half inch. This is an 18 inch barrel. It's a very heavy barrel. And I was getting a smaller one, but I was like, I want to kind of make a nice 50 caliber bullet because the Beowulf is very, very close to the 500 mag. It's only about 100 feet, 150 feet a second slower than the 500 mag. So basically, it's a semi auto 500 magnum. And I only paid 250 bucks for this thing. Now, I know what you're going to say, like, Maybe it's not that good a quality. And I'm sure there are better ones. I'm sure. I've seen them. They cost a hell of a lot more. Than, I don't think the one was like $1,000. The only thing I'm going to do with this thing is shoot bowling balls, books, pumpkins. I'll probably actually take a coyote hunting. Uh, but I don't care if it fucking jams every now and then. Uh, most of the issues you ever have on an AR is in the lower anyway. As long as the bolt unlocks... And the gas block, we're going to take a look at that in a minute. Because I don't think the the bolts are staked. That's one thing with the right charging handle. You have to take that bolt out, take that out to get it out the back. <clears throat> and then you have the, this little thing there to kind of seal everything up. I'm wondering, I bet you can fit a charging handle and a regular bolt carrier group in there. But, like I said, that's why I got it. It was just the price point for $250. Bucks. Got here in a week. Now I have... This is my really good lower. It has, the, the trigger cost more than an upper did. Uh, it's a really nice lower. I mean, it's, just the way this is, the fills and stuff, it's amazing. I mean, look how, look how big that barrel is. That one camera won't ever focus, but. Yeah, you can see that, that's a big, that's a big uh, bullet. So I did order four boxes. So what's that? 20, 40, 80, 80 rounds for <laughs> 200 and some dollars. Cost more than that. And I want, I was calling everybody around because I wanted to get a video out tomorrow shooting it, but it's not going to happen. So I got it ordered. Be here next week. We'll get it out. We'll try it. We'll compare it to the, like 500 mag with a pistol and stuff. It's a fun, it's going to be fun. And that's the only reason I got it. For 250 bucks. If you have your own lower, I might get a cheap lower just to throw this on, just to have it. Uh, dude, for 250 bucks, got a semi-auto 50 Beowulf. 
And you can use regular mags too. They make Beowulf mags at the followers a little different. Let's see if we can pump this bad boy out here one-handed. I think I can. Yeah, maybe. Because the... Uh, so the difference in a Beowulf is obviously the back. They mill it down to fit uh, the bolt carrier group. And then the Beowulf mags that Bear Creek offer, they just kind of... The follower is more... Kind of like a shotgun follower, so it sits in there better. But you can use regular ones. That's another problem that people complain about stuff. It's like, it could be the mag, it could be the lower. So let's take this apart and uh, check out that bull carrier group real quick. Okay, taking a look at the upper here. Uh, the gas tube looks nice. There's a nice little gas seal on there. Uh, chambering looks okay. That's, uh, you know, the rest, is, it's beefy, it's decent. Has a uh, uh, bolt catch on it too, which I forgot to show earlier. The bolt itself, very beefy and full auto. So that's cool that they do that, you know, in case you want to go burr <laughs> with a 50 cal, that'd be awesome. So the, the bolts are staked. They are staked from the side, uh, right there, you can see. That's important. A lot of times, Chinese ones or, after, or cheap ones, they don't even bother staking the, the bolts. And if they come loose, your gas chamber block here, it can move, cause damage. It can actually move your uh, gas block on the barrel. I had a cheap one do that once. So only time I actually had an AR like really fail other than my AR-10 was for the aftermarket triggers on it. The, uh, and the, the bolt's beefy. The bolt head itself, I will say it seems to me a little bit cheap. A little bit cheap nesium there. <clears throat> We'll see how it holds up. Maybe that's fine. He said, I thought it'd be a little bit beefier. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of my other ones, they, they feel beefier. If that makes any sense. So, overall, for 250 bucks for a 50 cal, I mean, why the fuck not, man? We will, as soon as my ammo gets here, we will, uh, we'll put it together. And I was going to bring up my other one to see. Once I get the... Uh, Okay, there's a look from down there. Nice big old barrel. I think you can fit a regular charging ha handle and bolt carrier group inside of there if you wanted to. Looks like you could. Once I get my ammo, we can try that. So, yeah, as soon as my ammo comes, we'll give her a shot. <laughs>